Okay, so the holiday season is here. Lots of us having fun at parties with our families, eating everything and anything. That can be a bad thing, though, right? Exactly. When it comes to overconsumption. This morning, our medical expert, Dr. Kevin Campbell, joins us to explain a condition called holiday heart. Haven't really heard about this one before, Doc. Tell us what it is. So holiday heart is a real medical syndrome, and it occurs during periods of overindulgence. So the period between Christmas and New Year's is really a vital time to be aware. Okay. When we have holiday heart syndrome, you can develop a common heart rhythm called atrial fibrillation. You can have heart failure. You can have swelling in your ankles and feet, and you can actually have an increased risk for heart attacks wow. during this time period. So this sounds very severe. What can we do to protect ourselves and uh, avoid getting something like this? You know, one of the things, first of all, is to remember what the symptoms are. The symptoms of a holiday heart are rapid pulse, okay. swelling in the ankles, chest pain, shortness of breath. And some of the things that we really need to think about is limiting ourselves when we go to the dinner table. Uh -huh. Excessive alcohol consumption. Excessive caffeine consumption can really play a role. Going to the dinner table instead of having seconds and thirds, mm. have portion control, and then also don't add excess salt. All of these wound up together can ha cause holiday heart syndrome. Okay, what about when it comes to exercising? A lot of us get a little lazy around this time of year and we just want to sit on the couch or sit around with our family and friends. Do we need to keep that in mind, exercising, sticking to a routine? Anytime you can stay with your normal routine during these holidays, it's fun to go out and have you know a glass of wine with dinner and have these huge wonderful meals with family and friends but you know incorporate exercise into your day okay. go take a walk after the heavy meal go play you know flag football in the backyard yeah. something to normalize this happy happy time do you know that the number one day for heart attacks hmm. is christmas day really? the number two is the day after christmas number three new year's day so okay. we still are in the danger zone yeah, we are. for holiday heart syndrome okay so basically just don't overdo it okay exactly. <laughs> enjoy exactly. but don't overdo it Dr. Campbell, thank you so much. Thank you.